Hi, I'm Tom from Weingarts. Today we're going to show you how to change your blade on your Cub Cadet CC999ES. Tools you're going to need today, you're going to need a 5 8 socket in order to get the blade off. You're going to need a ratchet and you're also going to need a torque wrench in order to put the blade back on at a proper spec. First thing before you work on one of these machines, you want to make sure you take off the ignition wire. That prevents any any mistake starting might prevent you from getting hurt. When you go to tip this machine over to get to the blade, you always want to make sure you tip it air filter side up. Just with the fact that if it's air filter side down, oil will end up running into the carburetor, into the air filter. So you end up having to replace or drain the carburetor and also replace the air filter if oil soaks the air filter. You're also going to need a block of wood in order to block the blade so you're able to get the bolt off. Now what you're going to want to do is take the blade, take the block of wood, wedge it between the blade and the frame of the mower. Make sure it's good and steady because you're going to want to put a lot of force on that in order to get the bolt off. If you have issues getting the blade off or you're not able to get the, the bolt broken loose, you may want to use the help of a breaker bar in order to help to get the bolt out. And once you remove the bolt, you're going to want to check the bolt to see if there's any gnarring, see if there's any threads that are missing. Because if you have any threads missing, you have the chance that the bolt could come loose and the blade will come off, and either injuring you or people around you. Now you can either replace the blade or sharpen it. You can either come see us at Weingarts at one of our local five stores, or you can order the blade from Weingarts.com. Now when replacing the blade, you want to put the adapter back through. Now the adapter does have two pins on it in which you're going to want to put those two pins into the blade. Now when you replace the blade, a lot of them either have where it says bottom or it'll say grass side. When you're putting it on the mower, you're going to want the grass side or bottom to face you. Put the bolt through. Also on the machine, there's a plate that you're going to bolt it to. It's going to have, almost looks like a bow tie pattern. You're going to put that bow tie pattern into the blade. All this just to help the blade in place so as it's spinning, it doesn't come loose. You're going to want to thread the bolt in by hand just to prevent it from cross-threading, in which event you'd have to replace the crankshaft. Now you're going to want to wedge the block of wood between the blade and the mowing deck housing. Make sure it's in good and firm because you're going to want to put a lot of torque on this. This is where your torque wrench comes in handy. With this machine, you're going to want 40 to 50 foot-pounds in order for proper spec from the factory. Once you properly torque the blade on, move your block of wood, place the mower back on its wheels, replace the ignition wire. 